Look, just because they're horrifically ugly doesn't mean you're allowed to make fun of them. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, it's time to do the land of annoying noises. Uh, if I walk in any direction, we'll start the next quest. I Alexander, guess we could call it. someone coming. Okay, I think we can do this puzzle. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. I fear scars of the owl we be. Watch for a foreign man, said he. With ears and nose, tongue, hands and eyes. Its nature cannot be disguised. If man it be, then man it dies. So they all have a oh, grotesque control. feature. Smell your smell. Do that which you do so well. Okay. What item do you think we need to use to make sure that flower. we don't smell like a person? There you go. Alexander holds the flower of stench out to the gnome with the jumbo nose. Tom Troll I am, that's all I'll be. My nose knows all on land and sea. A flower of stench has washed ashore. A flower tis all and nothing more. Oh, that's gross. Listen, hark you, Grovenor. Do your duty as you soar. With your ears, please tell us more. All right. What do we do to not sound like a human? Uh, we drink ink. <laughs> yeah, drinking ink sounds great. The uh, the nightingale. <laughs> yeah, the night. Uh, no, I almost the grabbed the map. No, no, I'm not teleporting the magic teleporting map. The magic map. map. <laughs> I'm fucking uh, okay. Thanks, narr narrator. You talk to him. Then it won't sound like Prince Alexander. <laughs> Alexander winds the tin nightingale and plays it for the gnome with the monumental ears. The narrator's an asshole. <laughs> making fun of their deformities. <laughs> Look, just because they're horrifically ugly doesn't mean you're allowed to make fun of them. <laughs> it's so weird looking. I don't think it's supposed to be going that fast, the nightingale. <laughs> a nose is not a way to spy. My ears cannot be told a lie. A nightingale is all there be. No man is near, and so say me. I do love the dialogue here. Taste, Grum Trump, that we might know whether the friend or whether foe. Grump Frump. All right, he needs to taste something that doesn't taste like Prince Alexander. <laughs> I took a mint. I, I think we all know yeah. the solution is I took a mint. Well, a lot of Alexander things don't smell like Alexander. For the gnome with yeah. the, the rabbit with the ink, the hair. <laughs> Grump Flump knows a tasty treat. It matters not what others bleat. No danger is this one so sweet. <laughs> Jesus. Trilly dilly, use your hands. Is it beast or is it man? Alright, giant yeah. hands guy. What do we do that doesn't feel like a human? <laughs> rabbit's foot. The foot. I genuinely can't remember if it's the rabbit's foot or the feather. <laughs> I think it's the foot. It's gotta not feel like a dude. I hope so. Alexander holds the rabbit foot out for the gnome with the huge hands. Be all you mad? What aileth thee? A bunny can't trill merrily. A hare does not at all taste sweet. A rabbit here is all we greet. Okay, that worked. I think both of those might work. Oh, Bill Banner, never fatter. Vision can resolve this matter. Look you now and end this chatter. Open your eyes. Okay, what Spray do we do? Spray the ink in his eyes. <laughs> Dump ink in his eyeballs. <laughs> what do we do to not look like a human? Put on... You put the hair on your face. No, <laughs> we do not wear a single <laughs> strand of hair. You dump ink all over yourself. All right. Uh, Alexander pours the contents of the empty-looking <laughs> ink bottle over himself. 
invisible ink. What the fuck? By all that's beauteous, fair, and sightly, four morons do I sleep with nightly. There's nothing there at all, I say. Enough of this. Let's now away. How progressive. <laughs> He sleeps with four on four morons nightly. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alexander oh, did it. He's fooled the guards. All right, that's the big. And now he can walk freely. Yep, we're we're able to freely walk across the island now. You remember we got that ink bottle from a uh, from a bunch of junk thrown out from an old wizard's uh, chest, so it was invisible ink. All right. Yeah. Um, I would not have expected there to be that much, though. There we go. Okay, uh, now you learn why I called this the land of annoying noises. Uh, oh. oh, my sinuses. We're leaving the screen. Okay. I thought the annoying noises were those fucking gnomes. Nope. Uh, you have not heard all the annoying noises of this place yet. Okay, so... What is this screen inspired by, I wonder? Probably not Alice in Wonderland. Uh, couldn't no, be that. Vines of sweet ripening tomatoes climb up little wooden posts. What about the douchebag What's that dude looking on the one? wall? Oh. What's that dude on the wall is just going, this? Hey! There yeah. There appears to be a hole in the garden wall. It's a hole in the wall. It looks more what? like a guy. You can yeah, look through it. Guy. Alexander sees a land that resembles a giant chessboard. Wow, it really is a hole in the wall. Zounds, those wallflowers sure are shy, and the snapdragons are awfully protective of them. Alexander can't even get close to the wallflowers without causing quite a stir. Yeah, this area is weird and full of items. First of all, what's with the grumpy tomato? Alexander takes tomato. a close look at the tomato on the ground. It appears to be darker than those on the vines. Racist. What are you staring at there, boy? <laughs> Go away, you rootless thing, you! Yeah! Yep, that tomato is definitely rotten. Zero percent! I'm gonna steal it. I'm kidnapping hey, what him. What do you think you're doing there? Get your hands off me! Hey! Alexander picks up Rotten Tomato and puts him away. One never knows when one will now need a Rotten him? Tomato. Yep. Okay. Unless Alexander is mistaken, those plants must be baby's tears. That's why they <laughs> taste so sweet. Uh, is that lettuce growing in the garden? It looks a little chilled. Get it? Why, it must be iceberg lettuce. Ah! Hey! Hey! Oh, okay, we want, we want the... Well, Alexander no, decides to pick up the hole in the wall. A hole in the wall could be a very useful thing. Yeah, we want that. that a fucking tiny hole in the wall? Alexander startled the poor thing. It's run off to hide behind the wallflowers. Oh, <laughs> Alright, now if we he go gets for a it... flamethrower... They get all shy. The flowers. <laughs> Think we just talk to them. <laughs> Greetings, ladies. How charming you look today. The wallflowers are too shy to talk to Alexander. Can we go get it now? Ah. The wallflowers, overcome with shyness at Alexander's approach, cluster together and cover the hole in the wall. Alexander can't get it. Because mm. the flowers are in the way. <laughs> Uh, Greetings, ladies. Yeah, yeah. The wall Don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. The hole in the wall does not respond to Alexander's soothing voice. Perhaps it's going in one ear and out the other. It has another? Hmm. I don't remember how to get him. We might not be able to right now, so let's go to the chessboard land. Eat the pizza wall. Nay, I say. What land lies beyond? What land? Chessboard land, you knave. I see. And is Chessboard land part of the land of the Green Isle? This is the shittest it is the Mario home of the 3 red level. And white queens, rulers of the Isle of Wonder, fairest of the islands that owe loyalty to the king of the land of the Green Isles. But perhaps not for long. What do you mean? 
What is the purpose of unity with the great king and queen dead? The princess is worth serving, but the feud with the other isles is strong. Here comes contrived dialogue. What the fuck is going on right now? I must insist, your highness. I shall send the lump of coal to the wizier and the princess as a present for their wedding, and that's the end of it. And I suppose you'll leave me with only this stupid spoiled egg to send, your highness. I want to impress the new king and queen of the realm as much as you do. As queen of this island, I have every right to that lump of coal. Who isn't queen of this isle? The lump of coal is in my possession. Therefore, I shall do as I please with it. Besides, there's nothing wrong with that spoiled egg. The egg, though delightfully spoiled, is not nearly so valuable as the lump of coal, and you know it. Your highness always got to carry the singing stone. It's not fair that you get the coal, too. That doesn't count. The singing stone was stolen by that horrid beast. I should get to keep the coal just because my stone was stolen. It wasn't your stone. It belonged to the Isle of Wonder Treasury. Your Highness always thinks that everything is hers. Excuse me, my good man, but could you settle an argument for us? Which of us should get to carry the coal and which the egg? Remember, white is the color of deserving truth and virtue. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Quiet, Your Highness, and let him make up his own mind. I, for one, shall be more proper and not even mention the fact that red is the color of love. I'm noticing, noticing I'm sorry, some KKK parallels. I'm partial both to them. both red and white, but I'm afraid that I don't know how to solve your problem. One of you will just have to be gracious and allow the other the lump of coal. I'm sorry, what your majesties, but I don't see color. Idea. <laughs> Quite ludicrous. He was a lot of help, wasn't he? Oh, yes. Obviously a man of high intelligence. Not what? convenient. <laughs> what an enormous waste of time. Better with my gown That's anyway. My Black and red are imperial colors. We're painting the chess pieces red. We're painting That's the chess pieces red. That's the silliest thing I ever heard. Red does not go with anything. Being much too self-conscious, white is the perfect accompaniment to any color. Ah, they got over their racism. <laughs> white goes with everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna steal this in front of the guards. Alexander picks up the Red Queen scarf. It's very clear this is not my property. And bye. How many so, fucking scarves and cloths do you I need? I know. So we have a we we need a lump of Those coal. Snapdragons don't like Alexander. Oh, those move way so too close. fast. I know. I think they're tied to game speed. Okay, I'm gonna save here for saving time. Ice. Uh, do you guys know where we need a head of iceberg lettuce? Um, have you tried talking to the babies? I don't think we have, actually. I think they might have the iceberg Hello. lettuce that you seek. Aren't you a bunch of fine-looking young plants? Go, 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 go! I was about to Apparently, say that. the baby's tears haven't learned to talk yet. Right, we need to grab Alexander the lettuce. Alexander picks a head of iceberg lettuce. Now, it will melt if we wait too long, uh, so we need to take it to the boiling hot pool of water. Hey, Gads! Is that cold? He sounded like Jollo there. <laughs> hey, right, Gads! Cover your hey, Gads. ears! Ah! I can't even hear it. Oh, it's nasty noise. All I right. couldn't even hear it. Like, I'm yeah, happy you like? couldn't. I Maybe Discord blocked it out for you guys, because it sounds like fucking white noise. Uh, I'll at least know. There's a bit of white noise in there. Oh, man, it's horrible sounding there. Is it like a really high pitch? It is a, mm -hmm. it is a single high-pitched tone. It's, then it, it, it's probably too strong for me to even hear it. Maybe. It's only in the left speaker, and it's terrible if you have a headset. All right, let's throw this in. Hoping to cool down the boiling pond, Alexander throws in a head of iceberg lettuce. The there we go. The pond's water slowly stops boiling, cooled by the ice. It still looks hot, but bearable. 
Yay! Can we get that right Alexander now? Alexander decides to brave the steaming pond. Nice. Ouch! Ow! Ooh, 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 ouch! The pond is no longer boiling, but it's hardly bathwater. I don't know. That's my kind of temperature. Alexander takes the old hunter's lamp from the tree. So did that also look like it was hanging above the pool way too high to grab for everyone else? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just I just remembered that it looked like that, but you could totally reach it anyway. As Alexander continues down the what path, the fuck he is that? A strange feeling that he's being watched. Yeah, uh, it's a statue. Come on over here and see what I'm doing with these flowers. That Christ. Never mind that stone fella on top of the gate. He won't hurt you any. He's just there to scare you. Huh? Do you think I should go say hello to this fellow? To the guy who is glinting? Yeah, I think we should. I'm just gonna go ahead and save, you know, just in case. I'm sure nothing bad is gonna could happen here. Could you tie a ribbon around his neck? Like a garage wire? <laughs> How visceral oh. was that? <laughs> gotcha this time. Did you hear the noise it made too? Yeah, Jesus. Like, it's way more gruesome than you'd think. That's why I did it, because I remembered it being way more gruesome than the rest of the kills. That move was slightly erroneous. Oh, man. Uh, Arch, uh, just listen to this again. Whoa! It's horrible. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oh, God, I need to watch this every time. Tickets. Oh. Next. I don't know why it always skips the word only. That move was... Okay, let's grab the brick. Alexander what picks the up the brick. No, we can't do this puzzle right now. Uh, it's everything we need here, so let's just leave. We got an item, though. You aren't gonna listen to me, are you? Well, we'll just see about that. Yeah, the uh, Isle of the Beast is actually a really small That's one. Odd. The gardener just disappeared. Freaking narrator. <laughs> Narrator's keeping up kayfabe. Ooh, ah! Can I pick this up? Alexander, not being an expert on poisonous mushrooms, decides not to take a chance on tasting the local variety. You know what? Smart move. Uh, I, this island's really small. There's very little we can do here. Right now, we just wanted the brick. I don't remember off the top of my head what we need it for. I just wanted to get that puzzle done ahead of Alexander. time. Okay, uh, let's go back to the Isle of Wonder. I think there's still an item we can get here. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Come back home, Alexander. No, Mom. I won't look at your bulge again. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, we can go this way. Bees! Book bees! Uh, I don't know if you can hear that one, but there's also a high-pitched noise here of the bees. They actually toned it down from the original version, though. Okay. No, I can't hear it. Okay, let's, uh... Black Widow... Are these gonna be spelling bees? The intricate spider's yeah, you called it. This bullshit. The spider who lives there is not amused. Alexander it feels the Alexander. tiny pinprick of the spider's Great. butt. Oh, does he actually the die? burning of her poison. That was quick. <laughs> Spider-Man. Nice Leisure Suit Larry-esque. Yeah. <laughs> it's very Tickets. Leisure Suit Larry oh. sounding. Next. Uh, Why do you think they call her a widow? Because she kills da -da, men. Da -da, da -da, da -da. <laughs> wow. Hiya, gorgeous. What a luscious looking hunk of flesh you are. That's my other name. Uh, thank you. I guess. Who are you? <gasps> How charming of you to pretend not to know. I'm Black Widow, of course. The femme fatale of all femme fatales. Know what I mean? So, <laughs> you know. So, like I from the Avengers? <laughs> Something she would literally say, wink, wink. A, uh, <laughs> another husband. It would be quite a horror. Uh, I mean, an honor to have me as a bride. Mm -hmm. Just look at my beautiful weaving. It's so light, so delicate. You'll never want to leave my little nest. Is that an eggshell? It is a lovely web, but my heart is elsewhere, I'm afraid. I think it's paper. No, drat! 
Uh, <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> I'm sure you'll change your mind once you consider the advantages. All right. Do you guys see the solution to this puzzle? We clearly want fingernail. this scrap of paper. Oh. Um, <laughs> no, it is not a giant fingernail. Open the book. Uh, no, it's there's a loose strand here we can pull. Like an There's asshole nothing. ruining her home. Right. Hey, don't touch that thread! <laughs> Yoink. Wait. Alexander snatches the scrap of parchment, curious to see what's written on it. There we go. Love. Love. <laughs> Fuck. The wind blows the scrap of paper from Alexander's hand, Holy shit. but he remembers what it said well enough. <laughs> it's in one fucking yeah, word. That, that was actually a puzzle solution. Uh, <laughs> I just. <laughs> <laughs> Rotten Tomato gives Alexander a mean look and King Tomato. Sourly. <laughs> I got a lawyer, you know. Yeah, there's kidnapping laws in this here kingdom. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we know the word love. Uh, it's not in our inventory or anything. We just know that word. And no, I don't remember what that solves, by the way. Uh, we can't take a book, can we? Jenga. Oh, a bookworm. Hey, hands off the goods there, son. Oh, sorry. He looks like he should be like a character, a tutorial character in a children's educational PC game. Um, I think there was one like that. Can I? The tail end of this island. Is nope. The tail. Nope. The tail. Nope. The tail. Nope. nope. You do actually need to there. Buzz around the books as though the pages were laden with the sweetest pollen. Maybe they're spelling bees. Ha. Yep. I believe there, there is actually something you have to do with the goddamn buzz. bees. Buzz. Cool. Um, is it the sentence we have? That would serve. <laughs> There's no reason to use that object. Nope. Ah, we might not be able to solve that yet. That might be a later in the game thing, but... That would serve smelly? no... Alexander sees no you. That okay. would... Uh, throw a brick at them. <laughs> that was, there's no reason. Okay, I don't think we can do that one yet. Sick the bird after them. I think we might actually need to do something with Ollie before we can do stuff here, because again, he's the book guy. Um, can we get that hole in the wall right now? Fucking that awful, awful noise. Okay. I thought I heard crickets, but I could be wrong. It's like something like that. Okay, we can't just. Greetings, they're gonna throw a brick at So charming. Flowers. So charming. Pick it up. Uh. The wallflowers. Okay, what if I use it on them? Nope. Zones. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can't get close to them. How do I. I don't remember what I use. Oh, is. Night oh, no! I remember what I do now. Okay. Okay, we, we've finally gotten enough use out of the Nightingale that we don't need it again for now. Uh, I just because I was trying to think, like, well, what do we have in our inventory that could solve another puzzle? And I remembered it's not just our inventory, Alex it's also the pawn shop owner's inventory because we can trade the Nightingale for anything Alexander else at any time. So there's also a paintbrush, there's a flute, and there was a tinderbox. Uh, we have a hunter's lamp now, so we, we do have a lamp. Um, although no way to light it unless we have a, unless we have the, uh, tinderbox. But right now I think we need the flute. So, uh, just out of curiosity. Is he back? Hey! Jalo, how fare you? And what news have you from the castle? Prince Alex, how I fare is close to boiling. Have you seen the wedding proclamations around the village? I've heard rumors of the wedding, of course, but I didn't want to believe it, and I never thought it would be so soon. Kasima, married. Oh, it is an unpleasant thing to swallow, friend. If only I knew Kasima wished it. Tell me about the wazir, Jalo. The wazir? <laughs> now there's a dangerous subject. His name is Abdul al Hazred. He came to the kingdom 15 years ago. The king was fascinated by his knowledge and his fine-sounding ideas. It didn't take long for Al-Hazred to convince the king to trust him with the 
minor problems of daily government. You see, Caliphim had a wife and a new daughter he wanted to spend time with. Al Hazred became Wazir. And now? Well, he's had his eye on Kasima ever since she was a young girl. And she That's is creepy. the only thing between him and the throne. Do you think he means to harm her? Oh, I honestly don't know. I think he'd rather keep her his wife. But whatever his plans for the princess, he will use her to his best advantage. That's his way. Perhaps he has charmed her. Perhaps she cares for him now. The Wazir is capable of anything. And Kasima must be vulnerable and lonely right now. Still, she has always instinctively distrusted him. Kasima has a good head on her shoulders. I'd be surprised if she's truly fallen for his words of love. I must return to the castle, Prince Alex, and you to your wanderings. May we both farewell. All right. I think that helps us in some way. Uh, let's, uh, I don't know if we'll get a new conversation out of him, but let's try. How fare you, merchant? Business could be better. Too many people are losing interest in reading these days. It is a sign of the times. Nothing How else? Fair. Four o'clock. I've been reading too much love poetry lately. It is rather depressing to an old bachelor like me. You want to read more of it? I stole this from me. Uh, wait, no, that's Kasima's note. Never mind. I probably should have shown that to J to uh, Jalo. Whatever. We'll get another chance, I'm sure. How fair are you? Well, I would be better if I could only finish my manuscript. I am a budding novelist, you know. How fair? I have been read. Okay, uh, that seems to be all of his dialogue right now. Damn. Uh, okay, let's go switch to the flute. Your candy dish is empty. Okay. <laughs> I am sorry, sir, but I have no more mints. Somebody has eaten them all. Well, get some more then. Don't be rude to King Pawn Shop. I fear that is impossible. <laughs> Without the fairy, I can no longer get imports from the other island. And we do not grow mint extract on the Isle of the Crown. Oh, I hate not getting what I want. What does that make me think of? Thinking of, um... I mean, there's clearly the still name? mints in that bowl. The What's mint dish is name? empty. Would you mind if I traded this in? Of course, Prince Alex. Please, choose something in exchange for the items on the counter. Alexander looked... I don't know how to do business, Prince Alexander. I'll take I remember, he, he reminded me of Cicero from the Skyrim. Flute. Very ah. good, Prince Alex. May its music always be sweet. Feel free to trade it back at any time. Thank you. Well, I sure hope I know how to play the flute. Uh, I think it was A down up, A down up. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Alexander decides to take a closer look. And sprints across the village. It's a proclamation. It reads, Citizens Rejoice, announcing the royal wedding and coronation of Wazir Abdul al Hazred and Princess Kasima. For reasons of security, the wedding will not be open to the public. Long live the new king and queen of the land of the Green Isles. Alexander feels his stomach turn at the thought of the dread event. If he doesn't do something soon, Kasima will be another man's wife. He also feels a strange pulling sensation. Not All the right. undertow. <laughs> Whoa, it gets sucked into the ground. <laughs> All right. On the next episode, uh, I'll have already walked back to the Isle of Wonder, so you can skip that screen one time at least. And we will play the flute for the wallflowers and see if that does the trick. Until next time, have a nice day. See ya.